just a lot. And if you don't want to have to get a whole other set to be able to get these, this is your nine and a half inch and your 11 inch. I mean, when we say nonstick fry pans, these are DuraPan nonstick fry pans. So these are the most durable, easiest to clean, even cooking, even heating, use on any sort of cooktop, including induction, and they are gorgeous. You know, I've got my Curtis Stone pans that I've had for years and years and years. They look just like this, and we use them every single day. We wash ours in the in the washing machine, in the dishwasher. You can wash yours. You can literally just wipe them out. These, this set comes only in black or red, and of course, you can only get it here. $10 off. These are, uh, these are the pans that usually, Curtis, we only get in a big cookware set. That's right. You know what? This is an incredible set because what you need is saute pans. Let's be honest. I mean, yes, cookware sets are fantastic. And we do have them for you. We've got 14-piece cookware sets. It has all the saucepans and all the bakeware and all the stuff that you, you will want. But the truth is, every day, every single morning for your eggs, you're reaching for one of these, aren't you? So I just wanted to give you a cute little set here. It's a 9 by 5 and the 9.5, I should say, and the 11-inch. So you're getting both big generous pans i'm going to do a little meatball dish but before i even start there look i've got some oil just to show you that you can deep fry in my bake in my cookware and my bakeware by that by the by the way now i'm cooking these from frozen right these are my panko breaded shrimp so i'm actually shallow for frying them um it will free it'll fry in about two to three minutes these are the panko breadcrumb shrimp that we do have available at hsn.com. We started the day with 3,000 of them. I think we're down to 750. So if you want one, we're going to try and air it later on um, at 10 p.m. tonight. But I honestly don't think they're going to make it. So I think if you want them... Okay, so we, we're, we're going to air them at, at 10 p.m. if they're still here. But we said that about the salmon. If it was still here this morning, we didn't get to air it. We said it about our meatballs. We were going to do a full airing. We don't have it. So, guys... We have a few of these meatballs, by the way, and have a look at these gorgeous, gorgeous shrimp. And the meatball's just beautiful. I'm gonna go in here and hit it with a little shallot. And you see in my Dura pan, I need no oil, no butter. I'm gonna add a little garlic. And when I say a little, I'm pretty generous with my garlic usually. I give that a toss around and we just let that saute down. You literally only need to let that saute down for maybe 30 seconds or so. Then you can add a little white wine. You could add a little red wine if, if you are feeling that way inclined. But this is just a bit of a different idea with meatballs. Hit it with some wine, hit it with a little cheese, and then hit it with some of your favorite herb, right? So not too much. You just want enough to sort of coat those meatballs. It'll reduce down and thicken ever so slightly. I've got a mixture of chive and parsley here, which is really delicious. And you give that a little toss around, and that's a beautiful way to serve meatballs too. So whether you like your meatballs Swedish or in tomato sauce, like the Italians do, whatever, you can do it. Even these are really good, actually, with Asian sauces too. These meatballs are so versatile. Okay, look at my eggs, guys. This is Durapan at its finest, when absolutely nothing sticks to it, right? I put that back on the heat. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to crank it. I'm going to get it super, super hot. Because what I would love is to show you that even when I do something wrong, like throw a handful of Parmesan cheese straight into a pan, even when that happens, it won't stick. It will still wipe on out, and that is what is so, so wonderful. Now, you saw my meatballs. By the way, guys, they just told me the auto ship has sold out, but we do have some still available in the single ship. And here they are, those gorgeous meatballs, pork and veal. Oh, yeah. And have a look at that gorgeous sauce over the top. That Whoa. would be a lovely, lovely way to serve them. And that was a um, whole cream that you... Oh. I noticed you weren't scraping yeah. that off the bottom. It literally just... I mean, you can quite... Right honestly, wipe that clean. So you're getting two of the most popular sizes. You're getting them at $10 off. This in the market would be so much more expensive. Of course, you can't get Durapan in the market. You're getting the 11 inch and the nine and a half inch, $23.32 to get it home. And for only about like five or six extra dollars, if you spend here, everything will ship to you for free. So you choose the black, you choose the red. And then I would love to, Rocky, um, if we could go through the animation, because if you are just joining us, if you are new to Durapan. These aren't just non-stick, right, Chef? Oh, no, these are Durapan. That's a whole different ball game. They're four times stronger than a traditional non-stick. Here's how we make it. It's forged aluminum, so you know that you get the heat even and fast because aluminum is such an incredible heat conductor. It gives you that heat exactly when and where you want it. The next thing to note is that stainless steel disc on the bottom of the pan. It gives it extra strength. 
It also means that you can use it on electric, on induction, on gas. Doesn't matter, and you, you can use it on all cooktops. The great part about it is it needs no oil or butter. You get five layers of that DuraPan, and food literally just slides out of it. The riveted handles mean that it goes straight from the stovetop right on into the oven. Talking about um, things not sticking, have a look at that burnt on cheese. You ready for this? I go in there, I wipe that cheese out, and absolutely nothing sticks. And then guess what? I start cooking again. Now, everyone will tell you with pot stickers you need to add oil. No, you don't. Not in the DuraPan. You just pop them straight in. They will get crisp on the bottom. If you want to cover it with a little bit of steam, you may, but you don't have to. But you wait. These are the... I think we've got a handful of the chicken left. The pork is sold out. The veggie, I think we might have a couple of those left. Uh, when I say a couple, literally a couple of dozen probably sees it out. Over here, is that right? Yeah, so two dozen on the veg and a little bit more than that in the chicken, maybe four dozen on the chicken. So look at these panko shrimp. You guys, it happens so quickly, right? And you can see, I'm gonna just drain them off, but you can see how crispy these are. Now we're selling them in a 45 count set today. So if you are interested in the panko, I told you we're gonna try and air it tonight at 10 p.m. But don't be surprised if you see something else in their place because these are selling extremely, extremely quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna leave those there for a moment. Let's have a look at the ribeyes. I can fit four ribeyes in this beautiful 11 and a half inch pan. I'm going to my oven because that's what you'll be doing. You'll be cooking in your stove. And then of course you'll be doing all sorts of di delicious dishes in the oven. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful, beautiful mashed potato. I mean, you can see that mashed potato on top. It's actually a shepherd's pie under there. So we braise the beef or lamb because of course a shepherd looks after sheep and not cows. Um, a cottage pie would be a beef pie, and a shepherd's pie would be a lamb pie. Um, but we braise that lamb, and then we go ahead, we cover it in the potatoes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I mean, when it slides out like that, you don't even know that there's anything but potatoes in there. I'll show it to you. First, I'll show you the cleanup. The cleanup is that simple. After being in the oven for over an hour, it is that simple. Now, imagine if your guests come, and you're like, here's the pie, guys, and they're like, what, the potatoes? No, no, look. Oh yes, you can see it now. All that beautiful lamb, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm coming back to my cookware. I've got my beautiful ribeye steaks here. I'm gonna just season with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we get that beautiful caramelization. By the way, in the pan right next to it, let's do something really delicate. Let's throw some um, scallops in here, and you can see no oil whatsoever in my pan, no oil on my scallops. I can slide yeah. them around. If I wanted to do some uh, some shrimp as well, let's do shrimp on one side, scallops on the other, just to show you the capacity of this incredible cookware. I mean, the DuraPan really is just a rock star of an item, you guys. We've sold five million pieces of this cookware. Why have we sold five million pieces? Because it works. It works and it works. It is the last piece of cookware you will buy. You'll have this in your home and you're like, oh my goodness, why didn't I have this before? Because it really does make life so much simpler when you've got great cookware. It does. And your food tastes better because it's not stuck or burnt uh, because it cooks so mm -hmm. evenly. And um, you're just going to love, you're going to cook more. You don't have to use any of that oil. You can use oil. I like to use butter to flavor, but you don't need it in order for it not Sorry. to stick. This is DuraPan. You're getting two of the most popular sizes. You get the nine and a half inch and you get the 11 inch. You choose if you want red or if you want black. And by the way, I actually snuck one of the little um, pan um, pan dividers in here. What are they called? The uh, pan... What is it called? The pot protectors. That's it. And um, we have those in red and black as well. 